Hello everyone, I am Dual Jerry and I am presenting for you a short brief about the birth of agriculture and its impact on human disease and the social environment. Early humans were very successful hunters. However, the growing population needed more stable food supply, so they began farming. The agriculture revolution, which occurred between 12,000 and 8,000 years ago, was the wide-scale transition of many human cultures from a lifestyle of hunting and gathering to one of agriculture and settlement, allowing the ability to support an increasing large population. Additionally, humans began domesticating animals to maintain protein-rich meats in their diet and eventually to help them farm or for transportation. Farming and the domestication of animals resulted in the concentrate of humans into small geographic locations living in close quarters with people and animals. This led disease to spread more rapidly than it had during the time in which hunter-gatherer societies existed, as inadequate sanitary practices and the domestication of animals allowed microbes to transfer from the animal to the human population, including measles, TB, and smallpox from cattle, influenza from pigs and ducks, and malaria from birds and chicken. Groups of people who had not lived in proximity with other large mammals, such as the Australian Aborigines and American indigenous people, were more vulnerable to infection and largely wiped out by diseases. According to the population history of American indigenous people, 90% of the population of certain regions in North and South America were wiped out. Findings by archaeologists and paleopathologists showed that nutritional standards of agriculture populations were generally inferior to that of hunters gatherers and that their life expectancy may well have been shorter too. In part, due to diseases and harder work, hunter gatherers must have covered their food needs with about 20 hours work a week, while agriculture required much more and was at least as uncertain. The hunter-gatherer's diet was more varied and balanced than what agriculture later allowed. Average height went down from 5-10 feet to 5-5 for men and 5-6 to 5-1 for women. It took until the 20th century for average human height to come back to the pre-agriculture revolution levels. Agriculturists had more anemias and vitamin deficiencies, more spinal deformations, and more dental pathologies. From the social point of view, recent analyses point out that settled agricultural life also brought about deep social divisions and in particular encouraged inequality. Before, all members of a tribe had to hunt together and share the results. Since there was no private property or anything to fight over, hunting and gathering societies were relatively peaceful and harmonious. In contrast, agriculture allowed individual families to farm their own lands. As a result, private property evolved which led to social classes and more conflict in society between rich and poor. Finally, I'd like to end with this question. Would we be better off or worse off if agriculture was not discovered? What if early humans shifted to another source of food other than agriculture? The sea, for example. Would microparasite and social hierarchy find its way to us anyway?